You like what? Black folk. Okay. That's what I thought you said. Yeah. I see you trying to get me. I see you trying to bait me. <laughs> nice try, whoa. I'm not trying to bait you. I'm just going to see what, what you like. I know you like black girls. Yeah. You've had your, you had your plenty of share. Yeah. And you ain't even jerked off to one, you racist. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Food Fight Podcast. Podcast. As oh. seen on Brian Callen's channel. Guess what else I did? What's what's that? Got us on Anchor, baby. Spotify. Oh, damn, two months later. What Here you we mean hit. we just started this? This is episode four. And we skipped a week. Shh. Shh. That's five weeks. Is that more than a month? Are you we, said are, two months. Are we into the second month? But we was talking about that. I didn't know. So I did it though. And I, that happens. Seriously. It sure did. Welcome to the greatest show on YouTube, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm Mikey B. C Dub. What'd you do this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> What's up, y'all, motherfuckers? Yeah. You know, so you're chilling, giving you another weekly, you know, hour worth of our nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah. And I'm gonna get. I got the one uploaded. Because it uh, took some time. Like, you had to validate your shit. It was like a fucking process. Oh. Wow. But it's on Spotify. Mm. And you, there's some extra processes you got to do to oh. get it to air where else. You mean you had to click more than, you do more than just one No, I, I, No, what not. Oh. But you act like it was just, you click it one time and it goes everywhere. No. Nah. No, but you have a full-on panic attack whenever you click that one button and it ain't like, uh, done. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that dick starts, turn, starts doing this. It did not start doing that. Yeah, it just started running back in your body because you're getting scared. No, it Fight didn't. or flight. You did got shrink, sh- shrivel up. No. No, it didn't. Mm-hmm. No, it didn't. But either way, I'm going to get these other ones up, but you got to give me those because you got them, I don't. Other what? The, uh, the other podcast with edits and all that. Remember, I have to take them off. I only have the one. We talked about that. They're, but they're, they're that, all on there. That Swiss cheese. No. We took them all. No, we didn't. We did. That's what cheese is. I'm That's telling you, y'all. Jesus. He's good at something, but not a lot. I'm good at most. Suck. Well, I don't. I'm not good at it. All right, y'all. We have mm-hmm. a uh, show coming up this weekend. We're going to have a special guest. And no, dude, I, I'm, I, I, I'm going to you, you, give, uh, give me some good odds. I'll take Diaz. Give me some good ones, though. Give me some good ones. Five to one. Five to one. Yeah. That's it. Five. To, what do you mean? That's it. He's like that's the 12, best odds in the plus history of twelve hundred. Okay. <laughs> five to one is good. Okay. Five to one is terrible. It was first off. It was eight seventy five last night. When I looked. It was eight seventy five. True story. Let's look right now. I thought I, I could have swore right it now. said twelve. It started out at tw- uh, twenty four, but as of last night. Oh, was it down? I, 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 oh, actually, MSN. Oh, oh. Yeah. How did that even happen? Yeah, I looked. I was like, it's fucking 1,200. So, let's see. Six hours ago. What is it right now? Actually, let's see live odds. Live odds. Live odds. Uh, sports not? Is that a good one? I this, th- this is your shit. Nah. This yeah. deranged shit, you know, this gambling stuff. Yamlin? <laughs> Thousand. Oh. 50. Have their lines, but that's as of yesterday. Let's go that was back. six hours. Is oh, there yeah. Like a, where's there? It was like sports book. Right there. Sports book. That DraftKings. Isn't this it? I mean, you can do it that way. Let me see this. 700 right now. Plus 700. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Seven. I'm giving minus you minus 1,000. Okay, but I'm not. Minus betting. 1,000. But you're betting Nate Diaz, and that's what Vegas would give you is seven to one. Don't worry about my shit. Worry about your shit. Then, then, then you owe me seven to one. No, why would I give you've never given me Vegas odds, you cocksucker? I've always given you Vegas odds. Okay, what was Luke Rockhold's odds when you gave me a fucking three to two? I'm sorry, was it seven to one as well, or was it three to two? I'm confused. Was Luke Rockhold a one fifty? 
I'm just telling you. Was Luke Rockhold a plus 150? I don't think so. It's a, it's a minus 1,000. Let's see. I'll give you the same odds. Let's you have to bet $1,050 to win 100. Okay, you have to bet $100 to win seven on eight. We're not talking about you taking Cosmo. We're talking about you. Yeah, but I'm betting against 1,000. You. Rockhold, and then what's his name, Costa? Let's see what the odds were. 360, 295. 360. 295, I gave you I gave you perfect odds. That's what you're talking about. You give, oh, that's three to two? So if I bet if I bet two hundred dollars, I would have won how much? <laughs> because that's what I bet. How much would I have won on, on two hundred dollars, Chris? You would win five some. to one, Cox That's better odds than you've ever given me. And absolutely not, I'm not interested in the uh in five to one on DN. <laughs> I know I know a dumb bet when I see it. Come on. Come on. Give me better than that. Five to one. Give me eight to one. No. Five to one, and I'll give you a backdoor double or nothing if he knocks him out. Wait, so if he knocks him out. If he knocks out Shemaev, that's ten to one, baby. If he taps him out, it's five to one. If he wins a decision somehow, it's five to one. If he sleeps him, he puts old Sleepy Maev. Backdoor ten to one. That's the best I can. Backdoor eight to one. The best I can do. No, you already said ten. We stuck. I know, 10. but you didn't say yes. So that deal's now reneged. You seen Shark Tank? That deal's now off the table. No, it's now not. the odds are backdoor eight to one, which is better than Vegas. When the over under is one round. One. One point five is the over under. Ooh. Yeah, one round. One point five. That's that's a good over. I take the over on that. One point five. That's not bad. I don't think Shalane's gonna smoke it. Diaz is. Mexican. Oh, you gotta, you gotta kill him. So, I mean, you gotta, well, the, the ref has to jump in and save his whole life because he won't quit. We'll see. It's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. I mean, you gonna give me eight to one. Back door on a knockout. Five to one, straight up odds. I think you should give me eight to one and ten to one on the back door. Absolutely not. <laughs> Why would I give you better than Vegas? It's Why not, would I like, hey, look at Mikey. Better than Vegas. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> it's exactly how it works. Uh, I, I gotta get I gotta get eight one. I gotta get eight to one. Pass. Moving on. No, we're not moving on. We're talking about this. Hmm? You're gonna give me eight to one. I'm dude. not giving you anything over five to one and backdoor eight to one. That's my walk away number. If we can't come to terms, we'll shake hands and leave friends. Who am I? <laughs> So, oh shit! I mean, we'll talk about it some more. Yeah, I mean, this ain't over. You can give me better odds. No, I'm not. I'm well, wait, five oh, to oh, one. Okay, so what happens when we get close to the fight and it's fucking a plus eleven hundred? Okay, then you still only gonna give me five to one? Yeah, we're gonna make a deal, or we're just we're not. Uh, we'll make a deal while we're drinking, cause I like to drink, make deals. No. I, for the people, think that, hey, this will be better for the show, so I'll concede and I'll bet them the more money because you act like you're going to lose the, your home if you lose $3. So I bet $3. You get 5 to 1. And don't bust out of 20 because, I mean, I'm, I mean, you know what? Okay. 100? Okay. That's a safe bet. 5 to 1. But that back door would eat that ass up. I'd owe you 160. Mm. You'd be sad. You would not bet 20, though. I know you. This is a two, maybe three dollar bet if you're feeling froggy. Give me six to one, I'll bet three bucks. I'll give you five to one, and I'll bet whatever you want up to 20. (laughs) Dim's the rules, kid. Dim's not the rules. If you want my money, you don't get to make the rules. I'm I'm betting my money, too. I want to do three to one. I'm giving you five. I'm just going right to the top. What do you mean three? That is in... Just get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. Three? You gave me three to two on a plus 395. That's four to one, and you gave me 150. uh, You gave me less than half. I'm going on a fucking limb out here. The limb is like... Hey, you gave me less than half. Oh, like Luke Rockhold was not a limb. You and I both know. We both took Costa for the show. Daddy stood up. Stood up. Was a man. For the show. 
Barely. Barely a man. Barely. Well, the boy took the two dollars like he like like he talked me out of it. Like I like I ain't on the internet with my glasses. On Costa. Hmm. Hmm. I don't believe you. You gave me less than half, and, I, and at three to one, at your seven hundred right now, that's the exact same odds that you gave me. But no, you want better than that. Hey, I, I, I want I want Vegas odds, at least. Never. You're never gonna give them to me. If you had given to me in the past, sure, I play ball. I'm a reasonable man. I've given you Vegas odds. No, I have. No. Yes. Mm-mm. Okay. No, you've been fucking me from behind, and now that you're like, okay, I'll give you like a fucking dry handy. Can't do it. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Daddy's turn. Been over. Mm-mm. Five to one. Backdoor eight to one, which is better than Vegas. It's not better than Vegas. Oh, Vegas sh- is plus seven hundred. Yeah. So what is eight to one? Is that better or less than, than seven to one? I'm confused. I'm, my my, my, my math not so odds, good. Seven Vegas to one. odds are seven to one. So backdoor eight to one is better or less than seven to one? That's a backdoor. If you don't see the only way out. he's winning. I guess he could catch him in a triangle. <laughs> could or he could rear naked choke his ass to death oh because that's what he does that gorilla just gives up his back i'm just telling you things could happen mm. i mean it what do you think gilbert burns would do to nate diaz all i'm telling you right now he's got a fighting chance what puncher's, do you think he's got a puncher's chance what do you think gilbert burns what if would he do? comes and knocks him out in the first 13 seconds i would love it i would be i'd be i'd be real happy <laughs> there's nothing would make me happier than a Nate Diaz knockout. Direct check payments. We getting more stimulus money? No. Hey, it says ad. So you click on a dumb dumb like you. Yeah, my money. Close your mouth, breathe out your nose, and no. Hey, so stop. 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 Have you, a- have you heard it? Don't matter. You make too much. Don't matter. I, I know, but hey, I'm just... it's not for you. Even if it was true, it's not. It's not for you. <laughs> this is just shit to scroll on news, so I just happened to see. They, they give, give us some more money. Yeah, let me, let me fix it. Check out that sunset. It is nice. Isn't Nate it? Diaz's career. That's your, that's your money. <laughs> Leave it. Five it's to one. Going in the fucking deep end. Yep. In the deep end. That's where Shemaev is. Oh, right over there on the other side. <laughs> that deep end. Where the where you know where it drops off that flat earth out there. Just... Into the distance, no turning back. <laughs> Brown. Speaking of, that's a perfect thing. All right, first topic of the week I wrote down. Because of the Taylor Hawkins, we're getting to that Taylor Hawkins show. Reminded me of who's the most underrated guitarist rock and roll history. Wow. Underrated. Underrated. Underrated of rock and roll history. Yeah, I'd say rock and roll. Because you're going to say some dumb country person no one knows. So let's keep it rock and roll. No, I'm just saying a lot of people underestimate John Mayer as a guitar player. He's a lot phenomenal. of people think he's great. A lot of people think Eric Clapton's great. Not underrated. He's properly rated. I know, dude. He, 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 he is a phenomenal guitar player. Who says he isn't? Who says he's not? Oh, my God, he's one of the best. Who says he isn't? Think about it. No, he's properly rated. Eric Clapton's properly rated. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, no one's. I like, don't think Eric Clapton's oh, a fantastic guitar player. He can play, but I don't think he's like... He's not in my top 50. Okay. I mean, you're asking me. I'm telling you. Okay. Underrated. I'm going with Alex Lifeson from Rush. The most not talked about musician in the whole band. And oh, yeah, better he, guitar player than Getty Lee is bassist. That's like the only guitar player on the planet that don't get laid like the rest of the band. <laughs> well, they never, they never got laid. But he doesn't even get recognized. I know that's what I'm saying. It's like it, the it, documentary when the guy's reaching over him to get Getty Lee's autograph, and Getty Lee goes, "This is Alex." He goes, oh, "Hey," and he goes, "It happens all the time." Like no one, nobody wants to, nobody wants Alex's autograph. Yeah, was, I never thought about that, dude. Dude, the reason why I say that is because, dude, I got chills because of Taylor. Like, right, one of the few bands where the drummer dies, it's over. Neil Peart. Except they let Dave Grohl play two songs with him. He played 20, 21, 42, or I'm sorry, I'm fucking that up. Duh. Whatever. 20, 20, 42. And then, uh, Working Man. Is it 2042? That's going to bother me. A lot bothers Rush him. Rush Dave Grohl. Get used to it. Well, I just want to say the wrong thing. 
But what's good is that work in Maine was before Neil Peart. So I wonder if that was on by design. Maybe. That's before. You know, they called me the working man. This kid was getting it, though, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. This kid was getting it. Dude, I mean, his kid he's beat nailing those it. fucking... Yeah, dude. That, that should it. be That should be the drummer of the Foo Fighters, for sure. 21-12, my bad. 21-12. He was fucking... I mean... Taylor Hawkins' kid. Yeah. I was like, God damn. So just, well, Dave Grohl said that the next drummer. He's like, you know, he hits the drums harder than anybody I've ever seen. Yeah. I was like, I watched him. I Dude, was like, looked like his dad is down. Oh, he's he's nailing it too. Jason Bonham doesn't sound like John Bonham. He, dude, that sounds just like Taylor. Yeah. Fuck. He's, he's been crazy. practicing a while. Clearly been playing forever. Yeah. But like, he's got that rawness that his dad had. Like Jason Bonham sounds like a professional studio drummer. Oh, he's yeah, he's professional. And John Bonham was just raw, raw. Yeah. Raw, and he doesn't have any of that. No. So, the kids were all... He's 16, so... Yeah. It was good. Well, but, yeah, I was watching. I was like, God damn, my boy, boy's hitting them, son. Yeah. I didn't see him miss a beat of nowhere. I mean, he nailed it. Yeah. Lars was playing with ACDC. That was pretty good. I mean, because ACDC. I mean, Lars can play a fucking... Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang. Every fucking ACDC song. Except Shook me on. <laughs> and I'm that's back, that's what fans get. I'm back in black. Bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass. Simple. Yeah. I'm T. I am do not even know his name, but dude, the ACDC drummer, <laughs> sit there and do your job. Sit in the pocket. That's don't the, be showy. That's the doing his job as motherfucker I've ever seen. <laughs> Just rhythm. Sit in the pocket and he's got sit there fucking, and fucking... He, he's got that cigarette. Because even that... You could you can even... You could even throw an extra kick in no, there. He no, he don't do that. <clears throat> he can one-hand that. You can play one-handed. All day long. All day long. Lars with his nose ride. Yeah, well, there's that. Yeah, that shit was fucking deep. All right, let me see what else we got. I don't know what else we got. I was going off of you today. Yeah, I know. What, what's new? I, I do it every week. What do you mean you do it every week? Uh, what what topics have you contributed? I contribute all the time. All the time I contribute. All right, who's the most overrated guitarist in rock history? Or drummer? Overrated slash... In rock history, you need to really think about what you just said. Overrated slash overrated? What a monster. What a monster. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. Oh, you cocksucking bitch. I want to hear you play some slash after you say this shit. <laughs> Let's see Chris plug in that Ibanez, hook up these pedals, and play just sweet child of mine. Can you nail it? I probably could if I sat down for 10 minutes. It's easy. Then, I don't want to hear it all. Don't skip it. Don't do do. Hit that. Hit that third. Better hit that solo. Slash is dope. I think Slash though is properly rated. Properly. Well, who do you think is the overrated as guitar player on the planet? I don't know. I mean, I would have to think overrated. Man. I thought Eric Clapton was overrated for a long time. I don't I mean, know a ton about guitar players. Somebody, I'm like, damn, he just doesn't seem that good. <laughs> like, um, there's a lot of guitar players that don't seem that good. It's quite quite a few actually. Like who? Like hit me. I'm trying to think who's like known as a badass guitar player that I don't think is that good. Well, I think the Joe Walsh properly rated badass. He yeah. played. He played. God damn. Yeah. How about this? His favorite band of all time, Taylor Hawkins, was. Walt, Joe Walsh and whatever and they reunited after 20 years or whatever just for his show yeah that's awesome pretty dope Joe dope. Walsh I forgot his name but most of the guitar players in Metallica overrated Kirk Ham is pretty good though or yeah. not Kirk uh, is it Kirk Hammer? I think Kirk so Ham. no that's one that died right yeah it didn't. no Cliff Burton died it's, it's Kirk Hammond yeah, right. but it's just like a lot of uh, dun, 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 dun. it's like it's pretty overrated I know people's gonna roast me over these ones 
mean, I, gonna I, be... I can't think of any. Like, uh, like, cause I'm no guitarist enough. I mean, I'm just going with some. I mean, they they inducted Eric Clapton into the Hall of Fame for his guitar playing. I think he's extremely overrated guitar player. I, mean, I think Jimmy is a little overrated. So, for being honest, Jimmy's a little overrated. Yeah, he is. Yeah, a lot, a little, a lot. Ah, I can think of the time. Yeah, but your brother was fucking killing the game. Who? And who? Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Jimi Hendrix. Oh, who do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think I was talking about? I thought you were talking about the Jimmy and Stevie brothers. Oh no! Fuck no! That ain't his fault. That ain't his fault. Whose brother is? He's a good guitar player. <laughs> Jimmy Vaughn can play. That ain't his fault. His brother was Stevie. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about Hendrix. Oh yeah, he's definitely overrated. A little overrated. First time, you know, it's like, I'm sorry. Who, who, who else was, you know, doing that? I mean, you you all over this. I'm not a huge Janis Joplin fan. You want to talk about musicians? People overrated. That is your. I mean, you would suck her dick if she had one. I love I love the raspy voice. The raspy Brawl. voice is okay. All the power, but it wasn't that great. Nah. See. I'm just telling you. Dude, take another little piece of my heart. Like, that that's so raw and gritty. You can hear yeah, okay. all the pain. And that's an ugly woman. Isn't and she a... knew it. She wasn't trying to pretty it up. She was giving that shit to you straight. Yeah. Dirty. She, I love that she, muddy. If she come out now, dirty. she'd never make it. Not true. Never make it. I don't know about that. Or how about she just She showed up simple? nowadays, she'd never make it. How about Mercedes Benz? I think that's a live recording, right? That's not even like... It's not even like a song, wasn't it? I'm just telling you. I think she's a little overrated. Man, she has Joplin. A little overrated. Disagree. Okay, see? That's what, what the problem what, there, is. There's like three lady singers they could even, they could even mention to be better than her. Like, what female rock singers? you got Stevie Nicks. You've got uh, Wilson. You better, I was going to say you. And you've got uh, Pat Benatar I'll throw in there. And... Um, I know I'm forgetting the big one. The chick from, uh, what's her name too? The chick from, uh, who's some White Rabbit? Jefferson Airplane? She's fucking dope. Yeah. But dude, that's like, that's four. Yeah. You throw her in, that's five. It's like, there ain't a whole lot. I know there's not a whole lot, but she's at there's the bottom. Of, there's a lot of like, you know, she's, little, at yeah, she's, a, like she's at the bottom Carpenter. of that list. No. Who do you think's the best female vocalist ever? Probably Stevie Nicks. No, no, no. Female vocalist. No, no. Female? We're talking about rock? Yeah. If you don't say Ann Wilson, get out. Mm, Stevie D- Nicks in a different way. Dude, Both. are you fucking kidding me? Ann Wilson would blow her out of the fucking water. That woman had some lungs. If we're going with just power, absolutely. But she yeah. couldn't make a Fleetwood Mac song, Ann Wilson. I don't, uh, it's, a, it's a different vibe. It's going to be food live from now on. It's a different Fights vibe. getting the fuck out. It's a different vibe. It's a, I don't even want to talk to you. I right think now. I think Ann Wilson's a better singer, but I think Stevie Nicks. Okay, if then. you said Stevie Nicks, I don't think you're wrong. I, I think you're completely wrong. I don't think you're wrong. Eh. I disagree with you, but I don't think you're wrong. I understand why you said that. Uh, yeah. If you say like Pat Benatar, then I think you're dumb. Or I think if you say okay. fucking uh, Gwen Stefani, who's pretty fucking dope objectively. Yeah, but we 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 talking about the bass. She's one of the greatest rock female vocalists of all time. Before, dude, no doubt is serious. I'm not saying that she's not serious, but she ain't no Ann Wilson. No, but I mean, I think she's no, she's in the conversation. What I'm saying, <laughs> like independently, she had a huge career, but before that, dude, no doubt had three just banger. Dude, in the '90s they were everywhere. I understand they was everywhere. Dude, no doubt is like forget people sleep on no doubt. I didn't. I'm not. I've been jamming not, in this all past summer. That ska punk sound, dude, she killed it, bro. She okay? She did kill it. I'm just saying, if you want to start bringing in all the vocals. All the women singers, she's gonna fall down the list fast. I'm not talking about pop singers because that's where women's that's women's lane. I'm just saying you can't compare um, Phil from Pantera to Michael Bolton. No, you clearly can't. Michael Bolton's got better singer, but like it's a different lane. We're not talking about that. Okay, I was gonna say. But I jammed. I'm just a girl less than a week ago. I I, I know. Oh, just knew that I'm just a girl. I, I've heard the song. Heard it. Ooh, lucky me. It's a jam. This shit is fucking retarded, dude. Dude, it's good, dude. I'm telling you. Who's the best male singer? Uh, Rock. Depending. You're talking about like like best voice or like 
my favorite voice because that's two different answers. I mean, who do you think has the bass? I don't think you. I don't think you beat Steve Perry. No, David Coverdale. That's what I'm thinking <clears throat> from White Snake. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna argue too much with you, hey, but hey, Steve Perry diff- is. I know. Uh, no, technically, yeah. From from a pitch standpoint, yeah. I mean, was there a note he couldn't hit? Still tonight. Pretty fucking well, note. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying. Dude, that shit's fucking fire. I'm not. And he goes like up. It starts like an eight and it goes to like an eleven, and then it fades into that fucking the guitar. I know. I'm just saying, as far as like just. That's the best too. Just straight up vocals. He had a more powerful voice, but Steve Perry is a more clearer, pitch perfect voice. Boy, he had some power though. But David's more powerful. Mike Tyson could hit, but he ain't on his shave or something. Mm. Mike Tyson could crack. Mm. Steve Perry was a singing. Yeah, that's a singing motherfucker. Boy. Absolutely. From a from, from a technical standpoint, probably the best. Yeah. Yeah. From a technical standpoint, you got. I want you to think about the the high pitch of like here I go. I'm like I can't even try. Like the highest note of of here I go again. Yeah, that shit's up there. Sounds like, a, sounds, like, sounds like a wah or a fucking whammy bar on the guitar almost. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I'm not saying that you're wrong. It's range. It's me. It's range versus power. Because he's yeah. got a little bit of raw, a little bit of raspy, but not a yeah. lot of David Coverdale. Yeah. David Lee Roth could sing. Uh, David Lee Roth, I think, is n- not even a great singer, but one of the best. But the front man is one, if not the best front He, he can still sing, though. He, he can, can sing still good. sing. St- objectively, Hagar's a way better voice. Sammy Hagar's voice is incredible if you yeah, look at it. Dude. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing it's with you. High, dude, he get up there. Yeah. Dude, he high up there. Higher and higher by Van Halen. Perfect I, I, song. Well, I'm just saying, Stand David Lee Roth could sing. On top of the world. Dude, he's Sammy Hagar's voice. Yeah. Another one people sleep on. Aerosmith, like that's he. I think he, he okay. Sing. He's good. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's up there. Yeah. Well, Steven. Dude, I I think Robert Plant has one of the top five voices oh, of all he time. He can sing too. Yeah. But unique. It's very different. Yeah. Very different. But he could sing. He could definitely sing. I mean, he could hit those that. that but Sammy Hagar, he, he, he will hit never... like awkward, weird notes that was just like unorthodox mm-hmm. when he sang. It was a different like. He went there, but you're like, that sounds good, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, so he, yeah. Mm. All I'm saying is that if you put a band out there, your hands are full if you're trying to out-sing Sammy Hagar. You go to Cabo Wabo, and y'all are drinking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your fucking hands are full. That fat fuck with the stringy hair, built like me. Drinking always some smiling. fucking tequila. Dude, belt it, dude. Oh, I always like Hagar. I like Hagar. The older I get, I've turned more to David Lee Roth. But like he'll, he's not half the front man David Lee Roth was. Oh, no. It, 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 Drips. Probably the best front man out there. He ain't wrong. Freddie Mercury is pretty fucking dope. Yeah, but... Mm. Nah, dude. Freddie Mercury's dripping. He's all right. I'm going to give... I'm going to give... I'm going uh, to give David the, the edge on that dude, though. Yeah. He's, he stood up there yeah, in front of those people the entire time and went 7 million miles an hour the entire time. No sit down behind the pianos. Uh, no. Okay. I mean, he just, just nonstop. So did fucking old, so mean, old fucking Angus Young. That fucking leg. Dude, I, you were talking about the... He's got to be... His hips must be just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, his fucking what? sockets, his ball sockets must just be <laughs> just grinding on each other. I mean, that motherfucker... Dude, I saw him in 90... Three. Well, it's like, hey, also, too, it's like, it, it, they they're put, great was, guitar players, wow. but maybe not, you maybe not put them in your top ten. You wouldn't put the drummer, the bassist. Brian Johnson is a top ten vocalist to me for his power. You talk about power. You, it, it, I love Brian Johnson, dude. Love him. I love Brian it hurt, Johnson. It hurts to even try to, to mimic it. That fact was shit, I gotta grit my teeth. It's like so crazy. Yeah, that dude, dude is. That you, dude. Talk, you talk about taking a stage and rocking the fuck at hard as fucking hard as rock. My man, my man was just a straight up mechanic too, just a nobody. Talking about you, any, need to, dude. Any it, band, it, he just come. It's like let me go try out for fucking ACDC. No, well, no. Apparently they 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 they, they found they knew about him. Well, I know, but it's like he was nobody. Yeah, but he was uh, absolutely a, a zero human. 
<laughs> and it was like, yeah, come on down. He's like, uh, what? Me? <laughs> and then this motherfucker comes cruising in. I can't think of another band on earth that'll blow them off the stage. It's like, fuck. Oh, you got, dude, that, like, that, 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 that show in Brazil, the, all those fucking people, the whole fucking, it's like the earth is moving, dude. I mean, they get you, you, if you stay, if you can stand still while listening to them, you're not human. Well, they're just, they rock hard. I know. Iron, Iron Maiden's another one. Maybe the best show I've ever seen. Whoo, dude, you want to talk about getting your money's worth. Iron Maiden is the no, as Jeff would say, the no fucking around crew is here. And then Eddie comes out, and the lasers, and their Nico's just ripping, and that fucking guitarist is, is getting it. Like, dude, Iron Maiden is a great, great 70 bucks. Yeah. Plus, they got like 50, 50 number ones. And Bruce Dickinson doesn't make sense. Let's see. By the way, how Bruce, old is he? <laughs> Bruce Dickinson accomplishments. Um, that doesn't make sense. So he's an award-winning beer brewer, film script writer, international fence. Oh, by the way, on the international, fencing. on the British Olympic fencing team, TV presenter, sports commentator. He's also a pilot. He drives a seven forty-seven for the band. Sunday's Times Cancer number survivor. one best-selling author. Oh, also yeah, professor of history, <laughs> professor of ancient history, and doctor of music. It doesn't make sense. Bruce Dickinson is a is a national treasure for England. Drives a fucking plane. Drives a plane? Dude, he's the pilot. <laughs> I, I understand what you're saying. I'm just, it's funny. Is there, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And one of the best fencers that ever lived. Military, uh, honorable captain of the Royal Air Force. Didn't know that. So he's in the military, right? Look at him. Killing folks. High profile. High profile pilot, okay. Professor of ancient history and doctorate and, of music. And I got a doctor in music. Yeah. He got his attention when he's 15 or 16 for dramatic arts. Oh, by the way, one of the best voices of all time. One of the best bands of all time. Rod, writer, polymath. Just a brilliant dude, man. Uh, Cardiff Aviation. Don't know what that means. The dude. Oh, turtle rescuer. <laughs> and the man rescues turtles. <laughs> and a great speaker. And by the way, cancer survivor. Right there, defeater of cancer, see? In 2014. Yeah. You can't kill him. Nah, his body's going to give out. That's what's going to kill Bruce Dickinson. Yeah. That guy's Only a, Bruce that, Dickinson will that, kill Bruce Dickinson. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Damn, dude. Yeah. I love Nico McBrain, too. Greatest rock and roll name of all time. What's it's, the best band you ever went and saw? I know you just said that's great seven bucks, but... Man. It's pretty good. The best band I ever went and saw. And I can't, uh, I can't put a finger on that one. Because there's one where like I wasn't a big fan, and I turned into a super fan afterwards. I've had a couple of those shows, but like a band, I was excited to see. I know I'm saying the greatest one. You, you you was like, this is the best show I've ever seen. Believe it or not, the Dirty Heads were up there. Hmm. I felt like I was in a. They opened up for for slightly stupid. I felt like I was in a music video. Became big fans. Eddie Money. Kind of liked him. Saw him live. Huge fan until he died. Um, I saw Eddie Money, dude. That Pantera was fucking ripping. Um, hmm. Dude, like I've seen so many. I'll tell you who put on a, a, a underrated, a underrated band that was kind of doing their thing. I, I saw them two times. Seven Dust. They fucking rock, yeah. dude. They put on a fucking show and I was mm -hmm. I, I was like these boys is for real I mean they didn't slow down for one fucking second they yeah. was getting it their albums ripped too so yeah 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 I saw them they were they were, that was it was it was so good I mean that the, they the music was fucking of course loud but it wasn't like so loud where your fucking ears was about to explode but it was like in your fucking face, like boom, 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 boom. It's like you was like, <laughs> you was you. I was pumped, dude. I was so fucking juiced up. Yeah, yeah, once the, I got the, done, Morgan Rose, their drummer, and the guitarist were synced up. Yeah, it was like just boom, 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 boom. It was in your fucking face, dude. It was nice. Yeah, the first Bob Seger show was pretty dope. That mm -hmm. storyteller show, that's up there. Yeah, the Bob Three Six Mafia nice. show was fucking lit too. God damn, the Three Six Mafia show.
<laughs> but your old ass don't paid for it, man. Don't give a fuck. Motherfucker's hobbling the next day. Oh, my leg. I was like, uh, oh, my hip. Uh, my back. My neck. I was like, ah. Overrated drummer. It's Lars. Go with that. So, Dairy Queen is only has steak fingers in Texas. What the fuck do you get at Dairy Queen uh, if yeah. they ain't got no steak fingers? Um, Ice cream. Food. Of course. I mean, the blizzard slaps. But we're talking about the, what food? What are you eating if not the steak fingers? I, I don't go there unless I get some steak fingers. I don't understand like, what you're talking about. What do y'all eat? Like, it's so crazy to me that that's not on every, yeah, but every I will, state. You know what I will tell you, though? Sometimes you can get a bad one. They're steak fingers, baby. I know, but sometimes it's bad. I mean, sometimes like, they're, I, they're, I was in a, is, oh. I was in fucking Trinity and stopped. I'm so excited. There's a spot for me to pull over. I'm all wound up. You know, I'm like, go in there and get it and get back to the truck. I was like... I was. I, I didn't eat it. I thought. I thought I was. I might get sick. It was so bad. If you're ever in Trinity, how often are you out there? I'm, I'm not. Oh, but I have a spot. The newest barbecue review. Well, I'm just telling you. This was a while ago. Mimsies. Oh yeah. Mimsies. I guess I have to go check that out too. It's in Crockett. That's Wade. Yeah, it's right next door. Yeah. That's Wade. That's my homie. That's Wade, baby. That's my culinary god. Culinary god. This guy is a god among men. He's my culinary hero. Is he? I love this man. He went to high school with uh, my in-laws, and I'm real jealous about that. Hey, I'm going. Uh, you want to go with uh, me and uh, Jureski on uh, on Friday? Where? Of course we're. We're going to eat. You want to go? I mean, yeah. Okay. What time are you going? Uh, 11 o'clock. Well, oh. so, so we can get there and have food. Go early. Well, t- yeah, we're going to go when they we'll probably be there about 10. Well, you get a number. Yeah, you get a number and you're there. Yeah. Or you order online, whatever you want, and then you just pick it up at whatever time it takes to pick it up. We're just going to sit down and eat. Okay. You going to go? Same 10 o'clock? Of course. Okay. Yeah, you didn't take them last time. You, you, this guy flew in a fucking yank and they went to Dickie's or something. I didn't. Guess what? Hey, look at that. Guess what? Hey, look at that. Guess what? Shh, shh, shh. Look at that. What? He was here Sunday. He come here. He drove in Saturday at three o'clock. Mm-hmm. We stayed here Sunday, mm-hmm. Monday. Mm-hmm. Flew out at six o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. I don't believe it. Huh? Don't believe you. Would you like me to show you? What? Well, I mean, of course you take your bag. Like I will lie. He like Dick, Michael. Did I suck your dick last night? He goes, Yep. I know him. <laughs> Liar. No, but the reason we didn't go is because they're closed Sunday, Monday. But we're going on Friday because he's leaving on Tuesday. So we've got to go on Friday. I mean, the cobblers might be better than the barbecue. Don't sleep on that. I'm not going to. I'm yeah, going to eat some. Trust me. That. I ate some last time. I'm going to eat some more. Ooh. I'm going to leave out of there hurting. So. Well, you know that, like, it don't cost $3. I d- and I'm not, I'm not giving you odds. <sighs> well, if it's not good, you're going to give me $7. No, I had it before. Yeah, I know, cocksucker. Oh. I'm fucking with you. Oh, okay. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? This shit was delicious. <laughs> yeah, I know. We've had corkscrew before. No, I'm talking about the cobbler was fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bought a whole pan. And that's where you fuck up. Because after about seven servings of it, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. You're yeah, good. Good for a while. It's sweet. It's got all the butt. The boy's got all the butt, boy. I don't even like peach cobbler, but that shit was good. All the cobbler yeah, fucks. it was good. Fucks. It was good. So we're gonna be there on Friday. Like, y'all hey, in the H town? I ain't gay, but I'm gay for that cobbler. Dude. Y'all want right. to come eat with Foo Fight Live? We'll be at Course Crew on Friday. Marcus got engaged. Get the fuck out of here! You want to show you? We missed Jen. Congratulations. He didn't even act like he had a girlfriend. He's been tender fucking for like how long now? That, dude, that was like pre-pandemic. <laughs> so he found a bitch in pandemic. I mean, yeah, he has a, his his future wife. He met, I think, in the pandemic. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. Yeah, she said yes. Yeah. I didn't, how Marcus get a girl? I mean, he was like, "Hey, I'm Marcus. I'm on the I'm internet famous. Here's was, my dick." And she's like, oh, it "Looks delicious." All right, gotcha. You know, <laughs> I oh, gotcha. Uh, what do you mean how to get a girl? I mean, the traditional way. Hi, I'm Marcus. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I met my wife on plentyoffish.com. That's right. Would you say that one more again? Hmm? Plentyoffish.com? Yeah. P-O-F. It's free. It used to be P-O-F.com. 
I did, baby. Are, are you still on there? Fuck no. You sure you took yourself off? Don't you do that. What? Give me no, this. Go ahead. Go for it. Go back. Go forward. Go ahead. I am. God damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't setting up. I ain't registering. Uh, you, can, you can look. Explore date ideas. Search. Search. See, nah. They, 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 you nah. got you, you to... No, okay. One day if I ain't bored. We can look from old thing. I was going to see if you're still on there live. Racking up messages. Oh, you People have to log into my account. You can't see if I got messages. I know. That's what we're going to do. Plenty What's Dresky doing? He getting his PP play with? Yeah. He's oh. he's banging some old some old barmaid. <laughs> some old fucking yeah. Some old Philadelphia girl, baby. Hey, Jeff, give me three o'clock. <laughs> Pull out that little fucking shrimp hammer. <laughs> Ooh, you bad. Ooh, you bad. She sounds like that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I shaved my pussy for you tonight, huh? <laughs> Oh my god. That's play terrible. Cards right on play with your balls. Your balls. You know. That's terrible. God damn it. Where, where's he gonna sit over here? Over here? Where we, we, we putting his big ass? You gotta put him right there. Right here? Yep. Oh, well, he ain't sit here. You gotta put him here. Yeah. Cocksucker. Don't you be like, this is, he's too big. I'm too big. Can't be, put <laughs> yeah. him in the corner. Right here. Yeah. And, he, and then you gotta figure it out or he just gotta choke up in the camera. Um, I actually. Uh, gonna fuck it up if you turn it. You gonna fuck it up if you redo the camera? It, it'll move all the stuff. And why are we not using my camera? How are you 41 minutes in? Why? Three weeks in a row? Why is it even here? Huh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> where are my Tyson trunks? I brought over five years ago. Don't worry about that. Yeah, where? where? I sold them. I needed some money. Bullshit. I'm about to take them hoes back. <laughs> put them in my house. I bought some Tyson trunks. Not for the show. I had them. We're gonna put them back here, but no, we got 19 guitars for no reason. We ain't got no Foo Fight Live sign. We ain't got no Tyson trunks. Can't even see the. You can barely, you can barely see the fucking boxing gloves. <laughs> this is guitar talk. <laughs> We're talking about guitars, ladies Bullshit. and gentlemen. Welcome. Anyway, what else you got? That's it. No, we're talking about UFC. We were talking about UFC. No, we didn't. We no, there were, we came to a, not an agreement because you won better than Vegas odds. Ah, you're such a poo bitch. Hey, what is uh, what is like uh, Atlantic City odds? What is what? I don't know. Yeah. What do the East Coast got to say about that fight? Let, let, let me see something here. Is he quick. fighting next? Is he fighting on this card? No. Oh, shit. That's that's Ferguson. Hit events. Why are they showing him? Hold on. Let go of the mouse. I ain't doing shit, cocksucker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Jingling and Ferguson or the Jingling, co-main? Jingling, Jingling, Jingling. Who you want on that one? Yeah, there's this one. Uh, so they got them there, boy. Whew. God. Well, it was, it was 875 last night for Shemayev. Negative 875. I don't know what Diaz was. God damn, Jalen, Jalen. Jalen, Jalen. Ferg. Jalen, Jalen. Oh, Ferg got that, baby. You think? Yeah. Maybe. That, no. Now, see, now that's a fucking fight. Dude, I don't know if you remember Danny Rodriguez. That motherfucker. Throw his hands. Dude, that's going to be a fucking fight, dude. Then we got the clams. Johnny Walker. I mean, I'm taking Ian for sure. I don't believe in Johnny Walker no more. Yeah. Kutabla. Kuzlava from Moldova. Moldova. We'll go to prelim. Who's there? Akeem the Dream. Oh, I remember him. Oh, that motherfucker's going to win. Sorry, white boy. I mean, dude, to braids, barely. Look at tits. Yeah. Over. Oh, the other tits. Oh, see, I would. I, I take. I take a flyer on him. That's the guy. That's the big fat guy. Did those front flips. Yeah. Roll titties. All right. Yeah. Early, early. Who gives a shit? But dude, this card is slapping, dude. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, Johnny Walker's good. I mean, the bitches. The right? clams. That's good. That's the one I'm looking for. That's the people's main event. That's Mikey B's main event. Kevin Holland and Daniel Rodriguez. Dude. That's going to be good. Dude, I might take Daniel off. Mm. I mean, I may. If you want Kevin Holland, I might take a flyer. Uh, I'll bet you. I'll, I'll bet you on Dude, every fight. Daniel, Kevin's way faster, but man, Danielle cracks. 
I think you had to give me odds on Jingling, though. Give you odds? Yeah. Jingling's going to be the favorite. No, he's not. I bet you. Mm-mm. We'll see. Mm-mm. No way he's the favorite. Why, why would he not be? Because he's not. Ferguson's lost like five and six. I think. Is he? Go to his record. Let's see. Are you... F- Get out of here, dude. Tony Ferguson's lost at least three of Oh, yeah, he four. just did. Yeah, you're right. Ferguson. I Rector. got you, sure, dog, buddy. I got you. Ahead, Settle good. down. Seven losses. 25 and seven. Yeah, one, two. Lost yeah. four in a row, Bobby. Four in a row. He ain't lost one of fight since June of 19. It's been three years. It was down with Cerrone. I mean. But, I mean, look, we lost. Yeah, yeah I was getting ready to say. Look, I mean, come on. Goddamn. Fuck. Gaethje, the champ. Darush. Darush and Chandler. Goddamn, boy. I mean, fight some 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 for real ones, and this one here, that front kick to the face, um, he was. I mean, no, no, that was a good fight. That wouldn't he wouldn't dominate nothing. I didn't say he was dominating, but he was holding his own. Damn, Gaethje, Gaethje, what a nightmare. Mm. I still take him over Jingling. You take him over Jingling. Yep, I'll right. take I'll take the old dog one more time. One more. February eighty four, baby, that's my year. I born Mikey B ten sixteen eighty four. Mm. That dude is damn near exactly six months older than me. Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. Yeah, sure, dogs got him at six foot. They got him at five eleven, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jingling's a big boy. Well, let me see what else we got. Yeah. Oh, All right, this oh, gonna be good. What is the most overrated food item in your home state, in South Carolina? That's a great one. What's oh. the most overrated? Like, y- y'all are, we have good X, and really, you're like, low key, we don't. It's just okay. I already know my, I think long and hard, and I think I, I, think I know Texas. I'll, I'll do Texas first, you can think. Yeah, I gotta think, dude. Gotta uh, give me a second to like. I'm gonna go with Chile. I don't know where the fuck this, this reputation comes from with Texas and Chile. I don't know where to get Chile. I don't know of a place that specializes in Chile. I don't know of anywhere that says Texas chili here. Or we have the best chili in Texas. Maybe it's a miss down here in the southeast region, but don't know about it. But no good if I had it. I've had homemade chili, but I don't think you could get a better bowl of chili in Texas than in any other state in the union. I rest my case. Mm. Maybe it's your biscuits. I don't even know what y'all are known for. Mm. I mean that. I mean that. That that fucking the vinegar sauce is overrated. I was gonna say probably the probably the barbecue sauce if I had to think about it. It's not even white sauce. It's whatever y'all call that yellow yellow That's vinegar mustard, sauce. Mustard, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that mustard. She kick rocks. Yeah, okay. yeah I, I'm not a big fan. Mm. Yeah, probably that. Cause y'all are no, I'm y'all, not y'all know for like shrimp and grits, which slap, and then you know for like biscuits, probably Charleston biscuits are pretty pretty famous. I mean, and then uh, they, 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 motherfuckers, they, they known for some fried chicken and fried pork chops. Boy. Yeah, but that's not, but, but everywhere in the South is known for fried chicken. So mm. they, they're, there's nowhere in the South where it's like, that's the fried chicken spot. There's black folks, that's the fried chicken spot. <laughs> there's black folks in everywhere in the South, even Florida. Florida. Even Florida. You probably fuck around in Oklahoma. And then white boys probably make you some fried chicken. Oh, fuck yeah, they make you some fried chicken. I, I almost a chicken fried steak, but I was like, I don't know how out of Texas that is. So I don't know if that's overrated. I, mm. I may just think it's everywhere and it's not. I know chili's everywhere. Yeah, chili's everywhere. And I just there's nothing there's nothing that's that's mm. that's great. About that's it. a good question. Yeah, I'd have to think about that actually. What's the most over? I had to look it up, and it's like, yeah, we're known for like kolaches, a sausage, barbecue, clearly, um, hamburgers, which which is weird. I didn't know Texas was known for hamburgers. I have to come back to that. Mm. Um, and that, then, that's uh, actually a good question. I, I'm, I don't have to think about that one. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Yeah, it's definitely chili. Yeah, I mean the chili around here ain't the best. Uh, there's nowhere I can think of. Even Ron's is like we, we it's make good, our own chili. Like, make chili yeah, here. Yeah, but like house. I know where to get, and the enchiladas was on there. Like I know, like I know enchiladas is a Texas thing, but I know where to get lights out enchiladas. I know where to get lights out barbecue. I know where lights out cheeseburger is. I know where uh, lights out kolache, sausage, blah blah blah. Yeah, I got. I you. don't know where to get a fantastic bowl of chili. Yeah, I don't either. And I asked that to people. They're like, "Yeah, you're right. Like nobody even it's an after. It's not even a thing here. I Maybe mean, because it's not cold. And beans and chili. I don't know where that come from. And barbecue sauce. We put sauce on the barbecue. Maybe not while it's cooking, but everybody, including me, likes sauce. It's so fatty. 
and so salty without that nice sweet vinegar cut through every now and then. Yeah, it's okay. I like sauce. I don't like a lot of sauce, but I do like sauce. I like that on the side. Yeah. But like, I got to have some sauce. Man. I like sauce, yeah. I got to have some sauce. Yeah. And uh, chili as a condiment, no beans. Chili as a meal, beans. Why is that a hard concept to follow? I don't know. Like, if I get chili cheese fries, I don't want fucking kidney beans all in it. Got it. Yeah, but if I'm going to have me some chili, a bowl of chili, I want some beans in it. Yeah, I don't want a bowl of meat sauce, of like bolognese. Like, yeah. Nah, dude. Yeah, exactly. Put that shit over pasta. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm on your time. I'm on your side. I'm on your team. Yeah, I'm not I'm disagreeing with you at all. You've been here long enough, you know. I know. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know nothing about CBDX? That's goddamn Damn, right. That's that Boy. big time shit. That Boy. is a big time shit. That's that big dick flex. That is a big dick flex. Yeah. Foo Fight Live is the promo code. Com. Got to use that. Especially if you don't use the link in the description. and be you're an asshole and you straight go to CBDX.com. If your asshole hurt... Diamond in my makeup. Yeah, don't get kicked in the dick and let it job, hurt. Baby. What the fuck? The Tumble Damp, Central Vapors, Tostitos. We're going to have some Tostitos this weekend. Mm-hmm. we be here. I'm, I'm assuming you're going to post this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be ready Yeah. for, for lots of bitching yeah. from this one. Treaty Oak. We'll have some Treaty Oak whiskey. You know, official whiskey at Food Viola. Mm, deep base. You got anything else you want to tell these motherfuckers? I mean, Chris Dick like medium. <laughs> it's like medium. Yeah. Why, why would you just put all my shit on the, on, the, on, the, on the thing? Think about the littlest dick in the world and the biggest one in the world. You're not medium? Ernie Schaefer, he had a crunch punch and he was real. Who's the strongest? No, the strongest. The strongest man, just in terms of. Ernie Schaefer. 